In this video we're going to learn how to connect the Logitech Review with Google TV. We're going to put it on this television which is a 40 inch flat screen LCD. Uh, that's the box for the Logitech Review. The thing that I'm excited about with this product is that it's uh, Google's smart way of converging internet with television broadcast content and that is going to be the wave of the future where broadcast television content has interactive uh, ca capability and the Logitech review with Google TV is the uh, first step into that. Uh, in the next scene we're going to open up the box take a look at what's uh, inside. Right on top we have the keyboard nice lightweight got a good angle to set and work with. It's got a touch pad, an indicator of the power switch right there. Nothing really on the back side. Just a nice lightweight product. I wonder what would happen if you spilled a drink on it or dropped it a couple times. We've got the tray for the keypad. They've included the Logitech appliance. Now, appliance is uh, a word that the electronics people use for a device like this. Let's take a look. It's about the size of a book. Now, on the back, we're going to go over the connections here. We've got a HDI input. Now this wire is going to come from either your uh, cable provider box or your satellite provider's high definition box. And then we've got what are called two IR emitters, two jacks. Which I like because if you have multiple devices, a device being a TV, set-top box, Blu-ray player, DVD player, things of that effect. You can control them through this appliance, but we're going to touch on that later because some of the control features are pretty limited, although cool, limited. Some USB connectivity. Here's an Internet connection or an Ethernet connection, a Cat5, um, RJ45 connection. Now, this device, this appliance, can also connect to the Internet or to your router or home network via Wi-Fi, but I'm a big fan of Ethernet. Uh, it's faster and more stable. And then we have HDMI out. Now, as you're watching this video, you're going to see some pop-ups that have come up uh, talking about these connections and more information available on the website. And then it looks like we have a digital optical input here and then of course the power jack. Next thing in the box is this little envelope from Logitech and inside that some warranty information. You want to keep that handy. Not every device comes out of the box working properly so if you need to return it or have it serviced that will be in there. And then it looks like a small booklet on what's in the box and probably how to connect and set up. That's usually very handy to read. That's in there. And then lastly, they have this box of stuff. Now, when I first opened this and I found Logitech had included an HDMI wire, I thought that that was really cool on their part. Um, makes things a lot easier. Earlier I showed you on the back these emitter jacks. Well, here is Logitech's IR Blaster. Now this is to allow you, or supposed to allow you, to control multiple uh, devices such as you know your Blu-ray, your cable or satellite box or U-verse box through the appliance. So in other words, you can go to a uh, 
the Android application store and get an app that will allow you to control your TV and it does it through this and if you look at the cabinet we're gonna put it in there's no glass no glass door in that cabinet it's all wood so that signal has to penetrate that wood and we're gonna determine if this appliance this uh, Logitech device is RF or IR uh, RF being radio frequency in other words it can go through wood and IR being uh, infrared and it it doesn't go through wood so we'll learn that and then of course looks like they have a nice length of power cord so that should work out well okay we're gonna open up my cabinet now there are two ways that you can connect the Logitech to the internet the way I recommend is this right here the computer wire uh, Ethernet or cat5 you can do it via Wi-Fi wirelessly and probably most of the installations will be via Wi-Fi but I'm a fan of the hardwired Ethernet because I think it's faster and more stable and also if you look at my cabinet I have a switch uh, this is basically just a traffic cop for the devices that I have in other words I have a router somewhere else in the house and then uh, I have a switch so I'm going to connect the Logitech review via Ethernet to the switch and I noticed that uh, the box does not contain an Ethernet cable cat5 Ethernet cable so if you're lucky enough to have hardwired internet where you want to install this device you might want to consider getting a cat5 Ethernet cable also it's just faster and it's more stable and I think it's gonna make the device uh, more fun to use okay we're gonna make some connections here I went ahead and ran an Ethernet cable and connected it to the back of my uh, internet LAN switch and I've plugged the power into a power strip this HDMI goes to the television and then the HDMI which was furnished in the Logitech review kit is going to come from either your cable high definition set top box or your satellite set top box or your U-verse AT&T set top box so these connections are pretty straightforward set top box goes to HDMI in we'll take the Ethernet cord and we'll plug that into the Ethernet jack and listen for that click now the HDMI out we're going to plug in right here and last but not least the power wire like so now my cabinet has a lot of space for wires so for the purpose of this video they're just going to be placed back there